Hi everyone, let's summarize the key points of today's lecture. In today's lecture, you have learned about the cumulative frequency curve or an ogive. So basically, the cumulative frequency distribution table is represented graphically and that you call as cumulative frequency curve or an ogive. It helps you to obtain median graphically. So basically, ogives are of two types, less than type ogive and more than type ogive. Let's first discuss the less than type ogive. In this case, you draw the cumulative frequency distribution table of less than type. So here, the corresponding cumulative frequencies are written corresponding to their upper limits of the classes. And after considering and obtaining this cumulative frequency distribution table of less than type, you obtain the points whose x coordinates are the upper limits of these classes and y coordinates are their corresponding cumulative frequency. After obtaining these points, these need to be plotted on the graph where on horizontal axis you mark the upper limits of the classes and on y axis you mark their corresponding cumulative frequency. You plot these points and then join them by a free hand curve. You will find that this is a rising curve. It is going upward. So this is the less than type ogive. Next we have the more than type ogive. For more than type ogive, you need to construct the frequency distribution table having classes of more than or equal to type. So here in this case, you consider the cumulative frequency of a class corresponding to its lower limits. And you make these classes of more than or equal to types. Then after obtaining this cumulative frequency distribution table, you consider the points whose x coordinates are these lower limits and y coordinates are their corresponding cumulative frequency. These points need to be plotted on the graph, where on x-axis, that is on the horizontal axis, you mark the lower limits of these classes and on y-axis, their corresponding cumulative frequency. You plot these points and join them by a smooth freehand curve. You will find that this is a declining curve. It is going downward. So this is the more than type ogive. So this less than type ogive and more than type ogive helps you to obtain the median graphically. You can find for the same data set if you are drawing the less than and more than type ogive, they intersect at a common point. So their point of intersection helps you to obtain the median graphically. The x coordinate of this point of intersection is the median while its y coordinate is n by 2. So in this way you use ogive to obtain the median graphically. So you can plot now the ogive for various data sets and obtain the median graphically. This is all for now. Thank you for watching.